Hey there, I'm Nate from the Colab team, and today I'd like to show you three features in Colab that you might not know about. First, I'll show you how to dynamically explore Pandas data frames using Interactive Table, helping to speed up your data exploration. Then, I'll show you how to peek back in time by viewing your Colab execution history, great for tracking down past iterations of commands you ran in your notebook. Lastly, we'll demo the command palette and how it can boost your productivity. Pandas data frames are a popular way of working with tabular data. For example, let's look at a small Vega data set containing some cars manufactured in the 70s and 80s. This is what a standard data frame display looks like. As you may know, you can explore the data using operations on the data frame. Here, let's filter by cars that get at least 20 miles per gallon. This is great, and we have access to the rich data frame feature set. But executing the code cell and having to wait for the result adds some time to our data exploration feedback loop. In Colab, efficiency of data analysis is key. So it'd be great to have a method of exploring our data that's a bit more interactive. Which brings us to the first feature we'll cover, interactive table, which is a Colab extension that enhances the rendering and exploration of data frames. To enable it, simply invoke the associated enable method on the data table module. With that, all data frames we display will take advantage of interactive tables features automatically. Now let's look again at our cars data set, this time with interactive table enabled. As you can see right away, we have a nice tabular formatting and display. We can adjust the page size and paginate to get a better view of our data. We can also sort a column across the entire data set. Notice how all display updates occur automatically. Further, clicking on filter allows us to target specific rows with direct string or regex matching. Let's search the name field for Ford cars. We can also filter by field value bounds. Here I'll find all four cylinder Fords that get at least 25 miles per gallon and were made in the 1980s. As you can see, with Interactive Table, you can dynamically search and filter your data all without re-executing cells, enabling a faster feedback loop for better data exploration. Next, let's take a look at the execution history via the charting example notebook. Notebooks are great for showing the current state of your code, but since we are often experimenting and iterating upon our notebook source, it's helpful to see prior iterations like we're used to doing in version controlled code. Colab's execution history addresses this need. You can open the execution history by selecting View Executed Code History. This opens a side panel showing a linear history of the cell executions for the notebook in the current session. This notebook session hasn't been executed yet, so the history is blank. Notice how this is a great way to tell whether you have some existing state in your runtime or if you're starting fresh. As we execute cells, you can see a history is recorded in the panel. Each entry includes the cell source and any outputs generated. The cell source and outputs captured in the history can be super helpful. For example, if you can't quite remember how you achieved a previous result or if your data source changes over time. We can jump to the corresponding cell from the history and even open a scratch cell with the execution source pre-populated. Scratch cells only persist within a session while the tab is open, but their executions affect the current collab session state and are recorded in the execution history. These scratch cells are useful for testing things out quickly without polluting your notebook space. With the execution history, you have a much better view of your notebook source and outputs over the lifetime of your notebook. OK, now let's check out the command palette, which is a tool for finding and rapidly accessing all kinds of commands within Colab. We can bring up the command palette via the Tools menu or with the Control-Shift-P shortcut. With that, we have the full Colab feature set accessible with autocomplete. Some examples include restarting your runtime, viewing the runtime logs, creating one of the scratch cells that we looked at earlier, or even opening the editor settings. In fact, all Colab UI menu options are surfaced via the command palette. 
If you'd like to do something in Colab and aren't sure where it's located, the command palette is a great place to start. That concludes our tour of some lesser known but powerful features in Colab that I hope give your Colab development a boost. Thanks for watching.